Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. I mentioned to you when I was talking about music of how it affects the entire brain, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the three areas, the three main areas of the brain that music impacts. But first, let me tell you this. There have been hundreds, and I do mean hundreds and hundreds of studies. One book that I read about music, they uh, reviewed 460 studies in one chapter alone about music. So as you can imagine, there's hundreds of studies that have been done on music because of its amazing impact on the brain. And what they found is they wanted to find out, okay, is it just when a child learns a musical instrument that it has this impact on the brain? What about the other arts? What about drawing, painting, sculpting, dance? What about those? And what about different other types of movement activities, any types of sports activities? Don't they impact the brain in the same way as music impacts the brain? Well, all of those things, yes, the other fine arts and sports and dance and drama, all of those definitely do impact the brain and it builds a bigger, better brain and it does make us smarter. However, there was none of those, not one of those, that impacted the brain like music did, which is a huge testament to the fact of the power of learning a musical instrument. And we're going to go into more of that, of how you pick a musical instrument out, how you get a teacher and so forth. So what they have found is that music impacts particularly the auditory, the visual, and the motor areas of the brain. These are all responsible for math and reading and writing and spelling and being able to learn information and being able to be better students. They also lay, lay the foundation for better language skills. They help the child to become more organized. They help them to learn information and to do better on all kinds of standardized tests. And the list goes on and on. So I'm going to, in uh, subsequent of these little tidbits for parents, I'm going to talk about each area of the brain and how that impacts learning. But let's take the lesser parts of the brain. Of course, there is no lesser part of the brain. It's all impactful. But some of the areas of the brain that, brain that you might not have considered that music does impact. Keep in mind this, and I've said this before, music impacts the left, the right, the front, the back, the top, the bottom of the brain simultaneously. In other words, it's exercising the entire brain at the same time. If you watched my video on, on the nine kinds of smarts and how to be smart in terms of multiple intelligences, you know that I said that Howard Gardner found that when we learn a musical instrument or when a child learns a musical instrument, that it also impacts and develops all those other areas of intelligence. It's interesting that it's music, and truly music speaks a universal language as a result. So here are some other areas of the brain that music impacts. The hippocampus area of the brain is at the base of the brain, and it's responsible for memory and learning. Music, learning a musical instrument, actually impacts and helps and strengthens the hippocampus area of the brain. The sensory cortex, that has to do with all of the sensory um, issues that controls all the tactile feedback. When you're learning a musical instrument, everything has to do, uh, you're using your hands, your feet, your arms, your rhythm, everything. So that is impacted. A lot of kids that have sensory integration issues, actually for them learning a musical instrument, it will help all those sensory issues. The cerebellum is involved in, in movement and it is also involved with emotion. Now music is what a really interesting thing. We talk about how it builds a bigger, better brain, how it makes us smarter, but oftentimes we'll hear a piece of music that bypasses all of our intellectual functions and goes right to our emotions. We feel it in our heart. In another um, presentation, I'm going to be talking about our three brains. So music does impact the emotional cells that are in our, our brain and our head, but also the emotional cells that are found in our heart and in our gut. And so the cerebellum has to do with that part of the brain that it impacts us and, um, with emotions as well as the limbic system. Then there's the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is that bridge between the left and the right sides of the brain. That's where synapsis responses, and that's how the two sides of the brain communicate with each other. When we learn a musical instrument, it helps to strengthen and to build up the corpus callosum to make that stronger so that we're able to think better. Because as two sides of the brain, are they, as they are working together as one unit, we basically think and learn better. 
And then there's the prefrontal cortex. This has to do with behavior, expression, and decision making. This is actually one of the areas of the brain where uh, my son ex experienced brain damage during his birth. Oftentimes kids with prefrontal cortex damage, they'll be very impulsive. Their behavior will not always be good. That is all governed by the prefrontal cortex. What we noticed with Brandon as the more he was exposed to music, and I started him at birth, also in utero, that I had him in little classes by the age of three because it helps with strengthening the prefrontal cortex so that kids behave better, so that they have better control over the decisions they make and that they're not impulsive. So those are all different areas. Again, I'm going to be talking about the auditory, visual, and motor areas of the brain, specifically and how those impact uh, learning. Let me leave you with this quote by J.M. Barry, the author of Peter Pan. If you cannot teach me to fly, teach me to sing. Now let me tell you, um, years ago, a Japanese mathematician was asked by mothers, how can we help our child to love math? And what he said to them? He said, sing to them and teach them to sing. He said, there's nothing like singing for building the brain and priming the brain for math. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow.